trigonometric equations with double angle. Question 3. Solve sin 2x minus 1 equals to cos 2x where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to 2 pi. So the given equation is sin 2x minus 1 equals to cos 2x. Now sin 2x minus 1 cos 2x could be written as 2 cos square x minus 1 right then minus 1 minus 1 will be cancelled right so let's rewrite this as sin 2x minus 1 equals 2 2 cos square x minus 1 correct now minus 1 minus 1 can be cancelled out right and we can bring 2 cos square x on the left side then what do we get we get sin 2x minus 2 cos square x equals to 0 correct we will bring all these terms to the left side so it becomes plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 right we can write sin 2x as 2 sin x cos x and we have here minus 2 cos square x is it okay equals to 0 now we can factor cos x 2 cos x rather so we get 2 cos x and we get sin x from the first term minus cos x from the second term equals to 0. Now for this to be 0, either cos x could be 0 or sin x minus cos x equals to 0. Correct? So we will use both these to find possible solutions in the given domain. Right? So we have two possibilities. One is cos x equals to 0 and the other one is that sin x minus cos x equals to 0. Correct? Now to find where cos x is 0, let me just sketch the cosine function, right? It's a good idea to sketch and see. I know most of you know this value. You won't take that much of time, but here I'm trying to explain you. So those are the two points, right? And these points are 0, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi. So these points are pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. For these two points, cos x is 0. Correct? So those are two possible solutions for us. So we can write x is equals to pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2. So that comes from the first term, which is cos x equals to 0. Now to solve this, we can write this as sin x equals to cos x, right? That means. And we can divide both sides by cos x. If we do that, let's divide cos x. So what do we get? We get tan x equals to 1. We get tan x equals to 1. Now remember this. Tan x is equals to 1. That means possible solutions are 2 for us. So one of the solution is when tan is in quadrant 1. The other one when it is in quadrant 3. And the angle is pi by 4 here. This is 4 pi by 4 and this is 5 pi by 4. Now you'll note one thing. Cos x is in the denominator. Do you see that? For this. So we have a restriction that cos x cannot be equals to 0. Do you understand? That cos x cannot be equal to 0. Then that becomes a restriction, right? So we should not use cos x equals to 0 in our solution set. So we remain with the solution of pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4. So our answer here is x is equals to pi by 4 or 5 pi by 4, correct? Now since tan x, that means this term will not be defined if we do this, right? Okay. So that's one way of looking into it. The second way is looking at it, the given equation actually is sin 2x minus 1 equals to cos 2x. Now if I use pi by 2 in this equation, then do I prove left side equals to right side? So let's put this. 
So if I do pi by 2 here, then 2 times pi by 2 is pi, right? And sine pi is what? Let me draw this. So if I put pi by 2 here, then 2 times pi by 2 is pi, and sine pi is? 0. So we get minus 1 here. Now if I put pi by 2 on the right side, I get cos pi and cos pi is minus 1. So that is a relevant solution. Do you see that? So that way you will find both are relevant solutions. Let me put this again here, 3 pi by 2. If I put 3 pi by 2 in the original equation, I got sine 2 times 3 pi by 2. 2 and 2 will cancel, I get 3 pi. So 3 pi will again be? zero so I get minus one on the left side correct and for two times three pi by two I'll get cos of three pi and cos of three pi will be this is pi and three pi will be minus one so that satisfies the equation correct now since this is a part of our derivation and not really a part of the equation given we should include those answers in our set so we have four answers that is x equals to pi by 2, x equals to 3 pi by 2, and x equals to pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4, right? And therefore, we will write down our solutions as, let me write down answers here. So the answers for x is x equals to pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, pi by 4, and 5 pi by 4, because these answers don't really contradict our equation right well you could have you could have done it the other way you could have divided by sine x and then got cot x if you divide both sides by instead of cos x sine x then you will get what you get one equals to cotangent x right then you will say well sine x cannot be zero are, are you getting my point then you'll say sine x cannot be zero right so that could be an alternate way of looking into it so when we are taking help of a part solution which is not really a part of our equation then we should not consider that to be a restriction this is what i want to emphasize here so we don't have just two solutions here we have all the four solutions since these four values if you plug them back into the equation it makes sense right and we get right answer so within a domain of 0 to 2 pi x is equals to pi by 2 3 pi by 2 pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4. Thank you.